Discussion forums provide the online learner with a space to engage in healthy discussion concerning specific course topics, similar to the way one would normally interact in a face-to-face -face classroom. A significant portion of your overall grade can sometimes be determined by your participation in discussion forums. Always consult with your instructor or your course syllabus for more specific discussion forum expectations. In eClass, discussion forums are identified by this icon. Your instructors can assign discussion forums within the modules of the course. Usually, each module will represent all coursework for a given week of the course. This may include discussion forums, among other activities, assignments, and resources. Typically, your instructor will provide you with some background information on a given topic and then ask you to answer a question or series of questions pertaining to it. Here is an example of what a discussion question may look like. As you can see, the instructor has provided some background information and then asked three questions for the students to answer. Normally, you will be required to post at least one original response to the discussion forum. Your instructor will give you more specifics concerning the expectations of the post. However, it is always important to remember that quality is more significant than quantity. On occasion, you may be required to respond to one or more of your peers. Again, these expectations will be made clear by the instructor. Simply stating I agree to a peer's response is not a sufficient reply. While you may agree, your responses should be meant to advance the conversation further. Strive to challenge your peers with other viewpoints or ideas in an appropriate and professional manner. This will create a productive learning environment for all participants. You should continue to engage in the discussion forum even after you have posted your original response. Check back once a day to see what other students have posted and perhaps even post a response to their discussion thread. Be sure to maintain your activity in the course. The instructor will take notice if you are not actively involved. Act professionally just as you would in the workplace or a face-to-face -face classroom. Be clear and concise in your responses. Use different paragraphs to reiterate specific points in order to increase readability. Make sure you read your response for spelling and grammar errors before posting. Stay away from caps. Writing in all capital letters is generally seen as online shouting. Steer clear of writing an entire post or email in all capitals. Avoid red colors. Writing in red can be perceived as angry or hostile communication. Just like writing in caps, writing in red should be avoided.